and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community guys. Today I'm going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now in Madden 20, guys. Now, as you do know, we're in a weird situation. Zero Chill Part 3 just dropped today. We still are in line for potentially a few more ghost cards. The promo from what I've heard is going to be ending the third. So we're at, we're really nearing the end game of the new year or the end game of the year as well as the final promo of 2019 which leads us into 2020 which is usually as madden starts to really take a turn like higher price higher overall cards crazier cards new types of promos this one where madden really starts ramping up to its climax and we're in a weird spot so here's the advice i gotta give to you guys but before we get into all that remember to still leave 25 days of improvements that does end tomorrow so Get in your last submissions. All you gotta do is enter, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console, and your secret word. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Now, guys, hear me out here. Where we're at right now in Madden is a weird state, like I said. Then, if, you, if you've ever played Madden for any period of time, you know that the next part of Madden is going to hit you fast. It's gonna be like, like that. Just like, it's gonna be like a snowball effect. So, my best advice for right now like what i would what i'd personally be doing right now so like let's go over to my team real quick to give you guys an idea of what i should what i should personally be doing but the issue with my team is that i have everything powered i don't even hide it up in there i i have, I have everything powered up which is going to hurt me because i can't just sell everything so here's the thing madden has a pattern of rendering all the cards from the past year useless with the super bowl and team of the year promo so here's the thing right all these cards right here, like, some of these cards will be fine. Like, Bo Jackson, Vic, and Sean Taylor, and Lawrence Taylor, they'll make it through. They'll make it through the New Year into the Team of the Year promo. They'll, they'll, they'll still be very usable, because it's just a high rate. Because like, the way you're able to power up cards now and get them so high in overall. They'll still be usable. Now, here's the thing, though. Team of the Year is going to introduce cards like 98 overalls, 97, 96s. So, all the 95, 96s we know of now are probably going to be useless. So, here's... The thing is, is that you're going to lose a ton of coins going to the Team of the Year and Super Bowl promo and Playoff promo. People... The, the Super Bowl is going to probably give us our first 99 overall card. So Team of the Year is going to give us a 98 overall card. And the playoffs is going to give us 95, 96 cards. So the high end of the market is going to be flooded with new cards, which makes a lot of these cards that we think are that are OP now probably useless or at least average. So remember, a lot of cards that you are paying a premium for right now for their stats will probably go down a lot. So here's the thing. If you want to be able to make it to the end of Madden, right? Here's the mistake that everyone makes every year. Everyone, I told you guys this. Everyone on every promo people like to buy everything from the promo now I never advise I never advise that in general now Christmas you can buy things like I bought Bo I bought Vic Strahan and Blowing I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay with those guys because they're depth I can use them and I definitely wanted those cards now here's the thing that people do though you're gonna buy all the ghosts you're gonna buy all the bosses all the LTDs and then that's all your coins right do not and I repeat do not leave the zero trail promo do not enter the new year at the end of this promo with no coins do not leave this promo with no coins because here's the issue, right? I've made this mistake in years past. I've made a few million coins around Christmas. I've spent it all on everything. I'm like, oh, I'm rich. I bought every card for Christmas. Playoff promo and team of the year came out. My team got split in value. I went from being rich to having an average amount of coins, losing everything, not selling on time. I'm telling you guys, if you if you invested all your coins into the market, for if you invested all your coins into the zero chill cards that you're going, you think you're going to keep forever, you're going to be in for a rude awakening when team of the year and everything drops and you see all these better cards and you're left with nothing. Because when you go to sell, Imagine when Team of the Year comes, if all those cards are as good as we think they're going to be, like they usually are, every card that you have now that you think goes for a lot will be cut in half price. Think about it. Like, these guys are already cheap. All these, A lot of these cards are already pretty cheap. So, you know how much money you'll be losing when things actually start coming out that are crazy good? I'm telling you. You want to start building with the coin stack. What would I recommend going to Team of the Year with? You got to at least go in with over a million. Team of the Year is an expensive-ass promo. I'm not even joking. Last year, if you wanted an a average card, like one, one of the one of the better cards, like 95, 96, they started at like 300 to 500k. No, no, the, the, the specialists were like 300k. A good card, like a good one that you actually want, like 500k a piece. So just to get like two or three, you need 1.5 million coins. Now, the 98 overalls, like girly in them, they went for like 700, 800k. So to get in on them, you needed like 3 million coins just to get one of them and then a few other cards, or to get both of them and a few other cards. I'm telling you, it's an expensive ass promo. That's not even to mention the playoff promo that's gonna be right there with it, and then the inevitable Super Bowl promo right there and after, plus the NFL Award promo. Guys, I promise you, the next month and a half is going to be flooded with 96 overall, 95 overall cards through 99 overall cards. We're gonna be flooded. 
99s will be towards the latter end of it, more going towards February for the NFL Honors with the MVP card, which should be Lamar Jackson and the Super Bowl MVP card, which very well could also be a Lamar Jackson. Although, that'd be weird, right? If he won MVP and he won Super Bowl MVP, that'd be weird because then I don't know what they do with that. But point being is that a lot's coming. And you don't want to be at the bad end of it. Me, I have a source of income as far as coins in my binder. I will be able to sell things. I'll be okay with at least a million coins. Guys, I'm telling you, don't leave with McCaffrey, Van Der Esch, Mahomes, Gurley. Unless they're not. They're not. They're fine. But don't leave with like Calvin, Blunt, Elway, Mahomes, Walter Payton. I'm telling you, all these cards will be A. You'll lose online with them. Once January kicks off and all this new stuff's out, you're not going to be able to compete online with them anymore. So that's out that's, that's the window. They're not going to be selling for at least even 75% of their original price that you got them for. That's out the window. I'm telling you guys, we're in for a big awakening coming in the next few days. I've made, like me and my friends have made this mistake. You go on Christmas pack openings. You get millions of coins during Christmas. You think that you're a god. You think you bought every card. And then January hits, you're like, ah, time to enjoy the team. You crack your knuckles. You sit back. And then... Ben. The word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your comments. Once you do all this thing, you're to win. Good luck. Bam. Next week, the playoff promo starts. All right, my team's not that bad. Maybe I'll sell a few cards. Bam. Team of the year promo hits. Oh my God, I won all those cards. Bam. Super Bowl promo hits. Now you're like just flustered. Like you're like, like literally depressed. Like you lost all your coins. You have nothing to show for it. Your team sucks. You can't compete online. Bam. NFL Honors comes out. Now people have this glitchy ass and uh, Lamar Jackson card. It's over. That's it. And then you quit Madden. I literally think people quit Madden because of the drop off from Christmas to February. People spend so much money on the, the team. They work so hard for it, and they all lose it all, going all in on all. Because that's what that's what Christmas is. They give you all this content because EA wants you to spend all your money during Christmas because that's when everything's so expensive. Everyone's spending money at that time. And everyone's getting gifts. So everyone's spending all this money on all this content. Then after January comes, they hit you with a bunch of stuff to render all those cards useless, and you gotta spend money again to keep up. And if you don't keep up, you quit. That's when people start quitting the game. I'm not. I've been. I've been a victim of it. My team starts to suck after that. I have. I have no more coins to show for it. I quit the game. Simple as that. That's what people literally do. So I'm just, if you want, if you don't want to go into Madden, Madden depression and lose all your coins, I recommend. Like I always say, cut off the non-necessary assets, right? Let's go into my binder. I'm gonna give you guys an idea of what I mean, what I deem as non-necessary assets that I probably don't need. That I just, it's just like extra, just for fun. So, Michael Vick, he's amazing, but he might be a unnecessary asset. Now, he's the best quarterback in the game right now. But we all know once Lamar gets his next card, he won't be. But that's the only thing is I want to have a guy that can compete now for Lamar. So, in my opinion, I think I'd say keep Vick. For the right price, he's, if he was like 700k, no, but he's 400k, he's pretty cheap, he's not too expensive. I'm gonna hold on to because I want to. I want to have like a stopgap until the next Lamar comes out. Sean Taylor necessary. Lawrence Taylor necessary. Night Train Lane plays amazing for me. I love him, so I can't say too much about him now. Barry Sanders as a backup. You gotta let that go. I gotta let that go just because I want to have a Barry in my team. That's like the kind of thing like a backup that good. You don't need it. You can cut bait on that one. Denzel Ward sold on to him. He's powered up. So again, guys, my one exception to the rule is powered up stuff. As you guys know, I, I love cutting weights. You're not going to find much of my binder to cut weight on. Denzel Ward's powered up. He's a great four stringer. He comes in on the slot sometimes. Now, I'll lose more coins unpowering up with all the coins I spent into him. Not many guys on my team are able to be cut weight with. Maybe like Saquon Barkley, but he was Nat. So I really don't have much. What I like, I've cut weight, I've cut weight with Ray Lewis already. I've cut weight with the Randy Moss already. Like, I'm going to come back to him when he's a little bit cheaper. But for the most part, there's not much to cut weight on for me because that's kind of my, my strategy that I implore at all times. I'm never keeping, I'm never holding on to extra. Barry Sanders is kind of the only thing that I haven't got rid of yet because I was checking out Bo and Amon Green first. Then when Bo came out, so then I was like, okay, Barry can go. Barry's been a little helpful as a backup. But like I said, recommend a coin stack at least a million. You're not going to need more than a million, but a million to at least get introduced to the promo. Over a million to actually completely enjoy. Because I'm telling you, two Super Bowl cards, two any cards, they're going to cost you about a million coins total. This Madden has been a little bit cheaper than past Maddens in terms of brand new stuff. So there is a little bit of hope that everyone's able to afford a lot of the stuff. Like I said, Team of the Year's introduced like 298 overall players, a few 97s, a few 96s, and a little bit of 95s. Everything's going to be upwards of 95. So a new power pass will definitely be coming in the new series update, which will be helpful in getting one of those players, but it won't it won't save you from the inevitable cost of those cards. So that's all I gotta that's all I gotta warn you guys about that. Now, like I said, this is pretty much the best bet I have for you guys. New content did come out today, Zero Trip Part Three. I wouldn't invest heavily. This is EA saying here, take take this. Like they're like feeding you. They're feeding you like so it's literally greed. They're gonna feed it to you. You're gonna buy it. And, oh man, that that's literally the worst thing you could do. I recommend if you're gonna buy cards, buy it towards the beginning of the promo. I know, not, not like the first week, it's too expensive. Wait like a little bit, like the perfect thing was 
Zero Chill Part 2. Right around Christmas, you buy that, you can enjoy it for the next week or so, and then you can sell off. I'm telling you, Zero Chill Part 3, this happened last year right at the end. You're gonna take the bait, and then you're gonna go all in with all these cards, like Gronk and all these new cards. And then, right there, playoff comes out, they're gonna introduce all better receivers, all better tight ends. You're gonna be like, damn, I gotta sell mine. Now Gronk only goes for like 200K, you went down. Oh, I lost 100K, whatever. But then you lost 100K in three other spots. Then you lost 400K, almost half a million coins. And then you're gonna buy all these new cards back, and then team of the year comes out. I'm telling you guys, it, I've seen it happen too many times. I've been a victim of it every, every year I've been a victim of it, except for this year. I've been a lot smarter this year. I'm gonna get my coins back up to at least 1.5 million at some point, with selling and doing little things like getting rid of Barry, selling some other things in there that I don't really need. Maybe a few packs. I doubt it. I'm not much of a pack guy right now. But guys, I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope this helps you guys with my... This is the best advice I can give you guys right now for what you guys got to do with your coins before we head into the New Year's. Or before at least the next promo. Get this done now before it's too late and you guys are... You're all broke and you all quit Madden because the last thing we want to see is everyone quit Madden. Guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to enter the 25 Days of Pudmas. All you got to do to enter, as per usual, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment down below the secret word here at the video, and comment your console. What you know those things you're interested to win? Good luck. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.